Thank you, Bishop, to the Franklin family and to all of us gathered. Aretha Franklin was not only an unparalleled artist, she was a civil rights activist and freedom fighter. It is easy to celebrate the gifts that God gives. It is more difficult when someone uses those gifts in ways that enhances humanity. Aretha Franklin was given special gifts, but she used it in a special way. And she would not want us to celebrate her without talking about she stood for something. She never shamed us. She never disgraced us. She never made us make excuses for her. She represented the best in our community and she fought for our community until the end. I first met Miss Franklin when I was a teenager. I'd become youth director of New York Operation Breadbasket and she would come to the strategy meetings with Reverend Jackson. And I would hear the stories of how when Dr. Martin Luther King could make payroll, Harry Belafonte and Aretha Franklin went on an 11-city tour to raise money for Martin Luther King. A lot of artists hang up Dr. King's photo but Aretha went and raised money and gave it and worked free. Her daddy marched with Dr. King and she never stopped supporting. As the years went by and I developed Nash Action Network and she would call my radio show and have me come to her affairs. She called me one day, she said, Red Mal, I wanna send you something. I said, yes ma'am. She said, what's your home address? And she sent it. About three days later, I got a check made out Nash Action Network signed by Aretha Franklin. I saw about a month later, I said, you know, I was so blown away. I grew up looking up to you that I framed that check. She said, boy, don't you have a copy machine? She said, you don't know how I am with my bank accounts. You better cash that check and But all of her life, she supported the causes. She was a feminist before feminism was popular. She was a civil rights activist when it wasn't popular. She gave us pride and she gave us a regal bar to reach. And that's why we're all here. We don't all agree on everything, but we agree on Aretha. And she fought, she fought for everybody. I remember when we were used to picket, Charles Williams and all of us jumping on the record industry, she said, now y'all leave Clive Davis alone. He's one of the good ones. She loved Clive and said, we gotta remember what happened to the Irish and what happened to Jews and what happened to blacks. And that is why we remember her legacy because she sang a song for all of us. She was the soundtrack of the civil rights movement. If you track where we are, you can follow where Aretha had us. That's why when I look at her and James Brown, whose daughters here and others, who paid a price that opened the door, but never forgot where they came from. She was rooted in the black church she was bathed in the black church and she took the black church downtown and made folks that didn't know what the Holy Ghost was shout in the middle of a concert. You never saw her perform without her doing gospel because she never was a one to forget where she came from. And that's why we give her this great home going. We thank her for what she did with Dr. King. We thank her for what she's done with Reverend Jackson. We thank her for what she's done with all of us. 
And that is why. You know, the other Sunday on my show, I misspelled respect. And a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all corrected me. Now I want y'all to help me correct President Trump to teach him what it means. And I say that because when word had went out that Miss Franklin passed, Trump said she used to work for me. No, she used to perform for you. She worked for us. Reetha never took orders from nobody but God. So, Rita, as you get your rest, Amazing my mother passed about six years ago. President Clinton, my mother and I had a deal. She said, I'll meet you on the other side. You live the way you're supposed to, and I'll see you in heaven. I said, well, Ma, they, they tell me there is no bodies in heaven, just spirits. How am I going to know you? I know her sons are, how will I know her? She said, I tell you, you meet me at the exchange counter. I said, exchange counter, what, is, what kind of exchange counter? She said, well, right after you get through the Golden Gates, there's an exchange counter. That's where you hand in your cross to pick up your crown. We watched Aretha bear her cross down here. She had to sing with a broken heart. She had to work when she didn't get paid. She was a black woman in a white man's world. She bared her cross. She fought a good fight. Now it's time to crown the queen. I'll see you at the exchange counter where you can now hand in your cross. Ain't no cats over there, Aretha. Hand in your cross and pick up your crown. As I take my seat, I've been asked to read this. Don't, don't, don't do that. Because I only have five minutes and y'all will make me go into something else. So say, Dear friends and family of Aretha, Michelle and I extend our heartfelt sympathies to all of those who gathered in Detroit and we join you in remembering and celebrating the life of the Queen of Soul. From a young age, Aretha Franklin rocked the world of anyone who had the pleasure of hearing her voice. Whether bringing people together through thrilling intersections of genres or advancing important causes through the power of song, Aretha's work reflected the very best of the American story. In all of its hope and heart, its boldness and its unmistakable beauty. In the examples she set both as an artist and a citizen, Aretha embodied those most revered virtues of forgiveness and reconciliation. While the music she made captured some of our deepest human desires, namely affection and respect. And through her voice, her own voice, Aretha lifted those of millions, empowering and inspiring the vulnerable, the downtrodden, and everyone who may have just needed a little love. Aretha truly was one of a kind, and as you pay tribute, 
No, we'll be saying a little prayer for you. And we'll be thinking of all of Aretha's loved ones in the days and weeks to come. Sincerely, Barack Obama, 44th President of the United States.